So you've seen that a lot of states are switching to constitutional carry, and you're wondering, what does that mean for concealed carry? In this video, I'm gonna answer the four biggest questions about constitutional carry and tell you what you need to know as a concealed carrier. Be sure to stick around till the end where I'll tell you exactly why concealed carry permits are still so important. Not to worry, I have a permit. This just says I can do what I want. What is up guys, if you are new here, my name is Will Workman and I'm here to give you the skills, the tools and the mindset to protect yourself and your family. If you haven't yet, like and subscribe so that we can get this education past the algorithm. All right, so first, what is constitutional carry? Constitutional carry is a fairly new term that simply means that if an individual is able to legally own a handgun, he has the right to carry it openly or concealed without a permit. Because, well, in this country, we have this awesome thing called the Second Amendment, which prevents the government from infringing on our rights as Americans and gives us the right to keep and bear arms. That's pretty awesome. You get the idea. Essentially, constitutional carry eliminates the requirement for concealed carry permits, but there are limits to this. We'll get into that in just a minute. First, if you are new to concealed carry, then I wanna give you something today that will really help you out, and that is my free guide to concealment. It's basically everything that I wish I knew when I first started carrying a gun, and I want you to have it for free. So go check that out in the description down below. Do constitutional carry states still have a concealed carry permit? Yes, you can still apply for a concealed carry permit in a state that has constitutional carry. You will need to take a concealed carry class, sometimes specific to your state. You'll need to complete the application process and pay a small fee to receive your permit. Do you need a concealed carry permit in a constitutional carry state? This is where it gets tricky. The short answer is maybe. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. I thought you just said that constitutional carry states don't require a permit to carry. That is true. But in some states, constitutional carry only applies to the residents of that state. In other words, in your home state, you should be good to go. But if you do not have a concealed carry permit and you travel into a state that has constitutional carry, you better look at their state code and make sure that their constitutional carry applies to non-residents along with residents, or you could be in big trouble. Before we get to the biggest question, if you need a good safe concealed carry holster, then go check out my friends over at KSG Armory. They have tons of great options so you can choose exactly what you want. I have their Knox holster and it is awesome. So go check them out in the description down below. All right, so should you get a concealed carry permit in a constitutional carry state? Yes. Even if your state does not require a concealed carry permit, it's still a good idea to have one. The standard of training and financial commitment is very low. A concealed carry permit shows law enforcement and the general public that you have pursued at least some level of education, even though you should be doing more training than that. And if God forbid you ever have to use your gun in self-defense, it would be apparent that you have some concealed carry education rather than just being a guy who has a gun. Plus your concealed carry permit will be valid in many other states as well. Now don't get me wrong, I think that constitutional carry is a great thing. I have this crazy belief that people should have the right to keep and bear arms. That's crazy, I know. Even though it may not be required, additional training is always a good thing. So what do you think? Are you a fan of constitutional carry? Let me know in the comments down below. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And until next time, be alert, stand firm in your faith, be strong, be courageous, and let everything you do be done in love. To learn more about the skills, tools, and mindset that you need to defend yourself, then check out these videos. What is up, guys? If you are new here, my name is... Oh, crap. There's my mic. <laughs>